There are thousands of buildings in São Paulo city. Over 8 million cars. It's the most populated city of America. Over 11 million people. Have you ever thought about what happens in São Paulo city in the same time? Let's go to enjoy the city I choose to live in. Let's start all over again. Hey, my virtual friends, all in peace. I'm Thiago Lopes. Thiago Lopes. Now you see the city of São Paulo with me. Just enjoy yourself. The difference is huge, but during the time I'm living here, I realized that people have learned to respect and tolerate diversity, tolerate creeds, ethnicities, sexual orientations and tribes. <laughs> what a cute Indian child. Uh, talking about tribes, we white men say that there are indigenous villages within São Paulo. In fact, there is São Paulo on their land. When I arrived, I used to think that São Paulo could be like that game we buy streets of the city. Interlagos, Augusta, Paulista, Brigadeiro. <laughs> Then I realized it's not like that. It's like this. A bit confusing might seem, but everything is connected. For you understand the city is easily. There are two marginals. The first goes to one side of the city and the second goes to the other side. And there are lots of bridges passing over them. Look how many lanes on each side. You arrive by the marginal if you go by car or by bus. But if you go by plane or helicopter, not necessarily, you arrive by the marginal. However, you can arrive by train too. So, you are already inside the subway station and you go. Let's hold the whole walls of São Paulo. The subway works well, but it won't take you everywhere. Oh, oh, look at these people. They are going to subscribe to my channel. And you, subscribe, like this video and do the things. Where you don't go by subway, you can go by bus. There are even trolley buses. São Paulo has everything. For you understand that, I'll give you an example. Example of mannequin for the store. You have options. Big and small. If you want one, upside down, you have. So there are lots of kinds of them. Also, if you want a mannequin taking selfie. <laughs> if you're looking for marriage stuff, go to the bride's street. Electronic products you'll find at Santa Efigene Street. If you are looking for fabrics, go to Jolie Street. Or you can go to Brass for ready clothes. But if you need a dress for a party, you go to Bon Retiro. If you are looking for ostentation, go to Oscar Freire Street. There you find the most expensive stuff of Brazil. All the rest you can find at 25 de Março Street. There you will really find anything you want. This is the Pajé Gallery. So famous here. Those who have never bought anything there, firstly, get the cell phone case. Mmm, fresh coconut water. You can go to Lago do Pari and buy some. Also around there, there is the cereal area. Nearby there is the municipal market. You can visit it, buy something, have traditional food. If you don't have time for that, you can eat something elsewhere. You always find fruits or a Brazilian Greek barbecue. Probably you can see a street fair, stop there and taste a good pastel. Mmm, delicious! This ice cream is sensational. The food in São Paulo is a mix of everything that the immigrants brought. The pizza here, mmm. In São Paulo you can find everything, literally everything, 24 hours a day. Even flowers like this you can buy at Dr. Arnaldo Street whenever you want. São Paulo, the city of Drizzle, as you can see, has the ground zero here. But the city started near, here, Pátio do Colégio. Across the street is the impostometer, high speed. Take a walk downtown, you see the valley of Ayangabaú, which is also beside the municipal theater. Shopping centers, there are so many around the city. You can even choose a stadium where you want to watch a game. If you want water, go to Guarapiranga. Look how many people practicing their favorite sports. Take a view on this scenery. I think a lot of people from here don't know this place. Right next to it, there is Bororé Island. But you have to take a ferry to get there. So I came back. There's noise in Sao Paulo. The noise disturbs some people and it sounds good for others. For me, they make me realize that I'm alive. This is the kind of picture you see in Sao Paulo a lot because traffic is too common in a city like this. Nowadays, there are many cycle lines, and it's worth taking a ride on bike around the city, or even going to work. You ride and lose some weight. Have a good job. <laughs> there are people who go to work by motorcycle, a lot of them. Sao Paulo is the financial center of South America and the most influential Brazilian city in the world. So many beautiful buildings. All those are enterprises. 
So cool. There are also famous ones. This is the Copan building. This is the Italy building. Up there the view is awesome. The city is a mix of constructions, industries, companies and residential buildings. For sure there are so many houses to live in São Paulo. All kinds of them. São Paulo has the largest number of slums in Brazil. Think about it. In each window there's life. Or not. <laughs> However, you don't live here and want to find a hotel, there are plenty of options. This one looks like a watermelon with organized seeds to me. This one is so cool. Besides being beautiful, during the day, it comes alive at night with hundreds of lights. There are other luminous buildings, even a beautiful theater and you can't stop staring. I like to admire the bridges at night. By morning too, São Paulo is full of these cable stayed bridges. This is the first iron bridge of São Paulo, the Santa Efigenia Viaduct. You can't drive there. The city is full of holes, whether by subway or tunnel. It's fun. <laughs> There is some bodrum to enjoy carnival or any kind of event. A lot of things happen there. Also, there are plenty places for events. Circus, racetrack and many miles of street art. This wall is so long. You can follow it while you are going to Itaquera. Nowadays, there are also green walls. There is thematic neighborhood. This is from Japan, but I can't understand what is written. Suppose a place to take a stroll and visit Monteiro Lobato, see to do Picapau, radar, many of them. Boomerang, firefighters, big city stuffs, and there's a guy who feels so hot. So far, I do not understand that. <laughs> there was Karanjiru. São Paulo find many monuments everywhere you go. There is a famous hand we see in history books. There is the Push Push. <laughs> many of them are scattered throughout the city. This is the Ipiranga Museum, but it's closed for now. But it's worth to go in there to see the garden. However, there are other places to visit in São Paulo, like MASP. This museum is free on Tuesdays. Or you can also visit Pinacoteca, that's near to Estação da Luz. But there is MAC too. This museum is incredible. I went in to take a break and went up. You have a great view up there. There is where the fashion week takes place. Coincidentally, some cool people are making a fashion editorial. This is Ibirapuera Park. First I would mention Bienal, where biennial arts and other events take place. Nearby there are Oca Auditorium. You can go there and if you are stressed, just throw a little stone at this. It's really cool. Or you can practice some sport in the park. Even read while some bathing. Take a stroll, do exercises, have fun and enjoy nature inside the city. But you can see trees everywhere. <laughs> this is Carmo Park. It is located on the opposite side of the city where there are cherry trees. But I didn't see any cherries. What I saw was the youth stone. Actually on the contrary, the eld stone. <laughs> Now I'm in Forest Garden, which is in the other side of Cantareira, you know? I met many cute animals, squirrel, goose, duck, playing in the rain, diving, even fishes. If you want to know the best university from South America, go to USP, it's amazing. When the sun goes down, don't miss the sunset at Praça Pro do Sol, sensational. The helicopter, up there. It's night and the city changes. You find tables and people on sidewalks. Bars are in all over the city. In many neighborhoods, many options of restaurants to go with friends, anytime. Enjoy a great meal by night, by day. But at night, it's time to party. If you see someone selling gum, that's probably you are near the nightclub. You just need to decide what kind of music you want to listen to. Even so, you would doubt. Where should I go? If you want alternative area, go to Augusta Street. You may see literally everything. Even the people who rent a limousine to enjoy and then drop by at party. São Paulo has many contrasts and you can see all these contrasts in one day. Wherever you look, there are people working. São Paulo is only São Paulo because of the people who make this city to be all that it is. Thank you Paulistanos for receiving me so well. I love São Paulo. São Paulo is this, the infinite. Plenty words inside just one city. To live in this concrete jungle that never sleeps is hard, but the city rewards you somehow. See you next video. Did you enjoy São Paulo? Come to visit us. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Ciao.